when you stick with the breath, the mind needs strength in order to do this, otherwise it just goes flowing along with its old habits. And the Buddha says there are five qualities that nourish strength. They're like food for the mind. The first one is conviction, the conviction that your actions really do matter, and that because your actions come out of your mind, you've got to train your mind. You can't just let it wander around as it likes. You could be sitting here, nobody would know. You could be sitting, thinking about all kinds of stuff. But you realize that if you allow your mind to do that, you're developing a lot of bad habits. So that leads to the next strength, which is persistence. You really put energy into this and you stick with it, trying to make the mind skillful. That requires mindfulness to keep remembering, because otherwise you're going to forget and then go back to your old habits again. It's these three qualities together, conviction, persistence, and mindfulness. These bring the mind to concentration. And that's when the mind really gains nourishment inside, because there's a sense of well-being that comes when the mind can finally settle down. It doesn't have to be prepared to keep jumping around all the time. Like that cartoon of the boneless chicken ranch, where the chickens just kind of flopped around all over the place. You want your mind to kind of flop down into the present moment and not be tensed up, ready to jump. That's when you get a sense of real rest and nourishment, a sense of well-being inside. And it's based on that that you can start developing your discernment to see, well, where is it that you actually are creating suffering for yourself? Where are your actions really unskillful? And these five qualities nourish one another so they go deeper and deeper into the mind. This is what gives the mind strength in its meditation, gives your mind strength in any, every aspect of the practice. So to try to keep them in mind, there's conviction, persistence, mindfulness, concentration, discernment. When you see that your meditation is getting weak, you might want to use this as a checklist to see which quality is missing. If you're not really convinced that your meditation is going to make a difference, go back and think about the life of the Buddha, because that's one of the main objects of conviction. So the Buddha really did gain awakening. He gained it through his own efforts, through developing qualities of the mind that you have in a potential form, but he actualized those qualities to the ultimate degree. If your persistence is lacking, you might remind yourself that you don't know how much time you have. As the Buddha said, you focus on the present moment, not just to be in the present moment, because you realize you don't know how many more present moments you're going to have. And it's in the present that you can practice, that you can fulfill your duties as a meditator. If you're lacking mindfulness, the Buddha says, usually that's a result of weak precepts. So go back and look at your precepts. Make sure that your virtue is strong. And this way you get the mind deeper and deeper into the right state where it's ready to be concentrated and gain real strength in the practice. So use these five strengths, or these five forms of nourishment of strength, as, as a checklist. That way you can keep your meditation going strong. <laughs>